Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky says he will always be grateful to Boris Johnson for the support he has offered to his country after pledging a new package of military and financial assistance. The Prime Minister is the first leader of the G7 to travel to the Ukrainian capital for talks since the start of the Russian invasion. Mark Lowen has this report from Kyiv. How are you? How are you? You know how are you? There's little time for niceties when you're a leader at war. Volodymyr Zelensky welcomed Boris Johnson to Kiev as Ukraine, battling Russian aggression, pleads for more Western help. The strength of the underdog, Ukraine's president battling for his country's survival, welcoming and pleading with the outside world to help fight Russian aggression. The unannounced talks came as Britain pledged 120 armoured vehicles and new anti-ship missile systems. The two men were keen to suggest Ukraine is on the front foot, a walkabout in Kyiv inconceivable a fortnight ago. Boris Johnson basking in praise for his support from the public and the president. We have to exert pressure in the form of sanctions, and I'm grateful to the United Kingdom that continues and intensifies the sanctions, and also provides significant support to Ukraine by reinforcing our defence capacities. The other democratic Western countries should follow the example of the United Kingdom. From Boris Johnson arriving as horrors are unearthed from neighbouring towns, warm words for a leader he called a lion. I thank you for what you've been able uh, to do. I think your leadership has been extraordinary. And I think in what Putin has done in places like Bucha and in Irpin, uh, his war crimes have permanently polluted his reputation and the reputation of his, of his government. Boris Johnson was long keen to come here to Kyiv, but was waiting for the security situation to stabilise following the withdrawal of Russian troops from the area. And while this city has calmed, the renewed Russian offensive in the east has made Ukraine push even harder for more military aid.